what does the yield keyword mean in Python? So I've got a text file here called zenofpython.txt that just has the Zen of Python poem inside. What I want to do is pull each line from this file. So I'm going to create a function called fetch lines that takes in a file name as an input. Next, I'm going to say with open file name. And since we're reading, we'll just put R here as file. And then in here, we're going to create an empty list called lines. Then I'm going to say for line in file. And with each iteration of this loop, I'm going to append the line to our lines list. And then after the loop, I'll return our list of lines. Down here, I'm going to say zen is equal to fetch lines with our zen of python.txt as an input. And then I'll print zen. So we can run this. And you'll see that we've got all the lines printed here in a list. So essentially, we're just calling our function fetch lines and saying, hey, I want you to grab each line out of this file and put them all into a list and then give me that list. So this is all fine for this example. These few lines in the list get stored in memory and we're able to print it out. But you can imagine a scenario where this text file is massive and has millions of lines of data in it. What happens then? Well, if your computer has enough memory to hold all of that data, then you're all set. But what if you don't? You'd be faced with a memory error. Okay, so you might be asking, well, what if instead of trying to get a massive list of all the lines of data, why not just get one line at a time and use it for what you need it for, and then just erase it from memory and go on to the next line? That way you only ever need to store one line at a time in memory. I know that's exactly the question you were thinking, right? Great, well to answer your question, that's a great solution and Python has just the answer for you. It's called the yield keyword. So up here, instead of returning the whole list of lines, let's remove the list completely and remove this return statement. And instead in this for loop, let's say yield line. So now down here, we still have our function call assigned to Zen and we're printing Zen. So let's run this. And you'll see now, instead of a list, we have a generator object. That's because this function is now considered what is known as a generator because we added this yield keyword. So Zen is now equal to our generator object. So how do we print out our lines? So essentially what's happening is in our generator, it has opened our file and started the first iteration of this for loop. So it's already gotten the first line from the file and it's ready to give it out to us, but it's yielding right here until we ask for it. So to get it, we have to say next with Zen as the input and we can print that out. And you'll see that it printed out the first line for us. To get the second line and so forth, we have to keep calling this next with an input of zen for it to give us the next value. Now one thing to note is that once we've been given a line and moved on to the next one, we've erased the last line from our memory, so it's not being stored anywhere, so if we ever needed to get back to a previous line, we would need to call fetch line again. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what the yield keyword or generators are and how they can be useful. If you learned something from this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.